How are you, kid? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you, and uh, for the first time in a very long time, I can say welcome to my city. I always <laughs> go to other cities to drive cars, but in this case, we're here in Miami, driving one of the newest cars in the industry. This is the new Mercedes, no, Mercedes-Benz, no, part of the Mercedes-Benz, the Daimler Group, actually. But this is the smart car. This is the electric version. You already had a regular version that you yes. had, but now we're gonna have the electric in the US pretty soon. Tell us a little bit about the technology in this car. I understand smart has have uh, electric cars for a while now. I mean, actually a long time, right? Yes, um, so we actually had our first production electric car uh, in 2007 in a small series that was introduced um, in London. Uh, this actually marks the fourth generation of the battery technology of, of our electric um, smart and it uses a 17.6 kilowatt hour battery pack that is actually sitting right beneath us right now in this exists. area exactly so in the gas car you would have a fuel tank down there we've replaced that with the battery uh, the car is also um, rear wheel drive and the electric motor sits underneath the trunk here uh, to power there. the rear wheels uh, which gives it a really really exciting um, and fun um, driving experience so it's as a well. real wheel car it is okay this is like a car for the city i mean absolutely right? this car was designed from the ground up um, to be the ultimate city car um, when it comes to the space of the vehicle in terms of you know how much you need for parking and maneuverability um, to how convenient to charge um, and the range. So we are predicting, um, have not gotten EPA certification back yet, um, but range between 80 and 100 miles, which for city commuting is perfect. The average yeah. American drives, uh, studies show about 29 to 35 miles per day. Um, so you could have several days of not yeah. having to charge this. And uh, especially in the cities, like big cities like Miami, uh, New York, Chicago, San Francisco, there are more and more places where you can charge in the city. Right? Correct, the infrastructure is growing um, exponentially every single year. Uh, also, we do offer um, a charging solution um, for customers for their home as well, sponsored with, with Bosch uh, to have a level two uh, wall box, we call it, uh, in your home. What's the charging time for the battery? Uh, right now, it looks, depending on the unit, about two and a half to three hours for a full charge. which On a, is on a level two. On a level two charger. Yeah. Um, for a level one, um, just a traditional 120 volt home outlet, it is more uh, in the 12 to 15 hour range. Yeah, so pretty much overnight. I mean, overnight, when you get right. home, then you will, you will... And keep in mind too, that's for a full charge with a theoretical zero. Um, most people, when they come home at the end of the day, will still have a significant amount of range left um, in, in charging and it will actually take uh, on the regular smart car, this uh, current generation, this new generation, has changed a lot. Changed a lot, not only in style, and uh, but also in the mechanics. A lot of people, I mean, this one, no, because this one doesn't have a transmission, right? <laughs> uh, because it's all electric, one speed, and that's it, you go. And that's why they're so fast from the get-go. But uh, in the regular smart, everything everything is new. Right. right. It was a complete and total redesign for the 2016 model year, which came to us with the gas. Um, there's really nothing that is shared um, with the previous generation vehicle. Uh, it is the same length and it's the same height, but the car is 3.9 inches wider. The Tridian safety cell, which is um, this kind of uh, design cockpit that we have, which is the safety shell of the vehicle, has been reinforced. It's gone from um, about 49% ultra strength uh, steel to about 75% ultra high strength steel. So we've improved the safety of the vehicle, but also by making it wider, uh, it's a much more comfortable car to yeah. drive. Uh, and in sitting in here, you don't feel yeah, that you're, close you're to me. You're pretty tall, you're well over six feet I'm tall, six right? two, and exactly. I still have um, a good amount of room. And a lot of leg room too. Yeah, really, really optimized uh, for space, but the interior um, design and the, and the materials, uh, quality of everything that you touch and feel has been greatly, greatly increased. Uh, and when it comes to the gas car too, we also have a brand new engine and transmission offerings as well. So as part of the redesign, we can see that there's completely new, obviously for the electric car, different gauges, but like completely different uh, design in general, right? Yes, uh, the 
old car, everything has been um, thrown out and redone. Um, you have a lot more textures um, going on on the dash. For instance, this is actually the same as very high quality running shoes. Um, and it oh, comes okay. in different. It comes in different colors. So we do have blue, black, um, and orange, and that it, it makes a really nice. Um, look to the dash there uh, but this car also has a the optional um, smart media system which is new for 2017 yeah. it's a seven inch um, touchscreen navigation system that has a lot of functionality it has live services that give you um, live traffic updates um, you can save favorite destinations uh, but also for this being the um, electric version also gives you a deep dive of information into um, how you're, it's going how you're driving so uh, so it's here So you can see you know, how efficiently you're you're driving. Um, probably not much when I went accelerate really fast. <laughs> no, that probably that brought <laughs> brought it down a little bit. Uh, but it kind of shows you, you know, maybe I'm not getting the range I expected, but I'm also driving at 45% eco. So yeah. maybe it tells you let off the accelerator a bit, uh, and you'll see that. Speaking uh, of the eco, uh, there's an eco mode that makes it like the ultimate way to save energy. Yes. So it does draw back um, the available power. Um, under light acceleration so that you use less of it, thus conserving um, the, the battery. So that'll be ideal for like uh, bumper to bumper traffic, that bumper kind of thing? Bumper to bumper traffic, um, if you find that you've used more um, of, the, of the charge than you had anticipated that day, it will help um, increase that um, a little bit as well. And then also um, for cold weather climates, um, do have a optional package called the climate package which adds extra insulation throughout the doors in the cabin and also gives you um, okay. a heated steering wheel but that extra insulation um, means that you need to use less of the battery's energy to keep the cabin warm on a cold day thus further preserving your range exactly. because everything affects right when you drive an electric car the it weather does. the condition the styling the view going an uphill against going a downhill and all that kind of thing Yes, the variables um, that go into range um, can be difficult to, to calculate yeah, exactly. at times. So another thing is the sunroof uh, standard or is it an option? It is an option. Um, okay. So you would have a, just a full roof on the standard car. Um, this particular vehicle that we're in is the Prime trim level and it does come standard with the Prime. So this one has everything pretty much. Yes. Okay, another thing that uh, obviously being such a small car from the outside, I mean, you, the engineers and uh, designers had to be really smart again <laughs> to <laughs> use every single space. Like this little space, I mean, you wouldn't think in any other car would be flat, but this is yes. ideal for phones. The idea things. behind this car was that every single bit of space that we could make um, usable has been made usable. So you do have this, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but this center console and the cup holders actually has a pull-out drawer oh, that you can hide items good. in. Yeah. It only pulls out on this side. On both sides? On that side? It just it'll just be, this side. Yeah, it will be difficult for mm -hmm. this one to drive. Um, you've got the bottle holders and the doors. The passenger seat that I'm in actually folds flat, so you can get objects five feet oh, from the in back. length. Um, but just a story of how they were able to package so much space. The car has a Dedeon rear suspension, and that was done to allow either the engine or the, or the electric motor to actually sit further um, down in the, the platform, which then gives you as much trunk space as possible. Um, there's also hidden storage in the trunk lid yeah. as well. And uh, when you look forward, I mean, it doesn't <laughs> look small. No. It doesn't feel small, especially with the sunroof and all that. I mean, it's like a normal car. You, I mean, you don't think that you can touch <laughs> that It's rear very end. easy to forget yeah. how small the car exactly. is until maybe you look backwards to merge. Yeah. Um, but, but you're right, sitting here with you, you would not feel like you're in a car as, as small as it is on, on the outside. You mentioned a lot of safety and one of the things that some people think about with a, this is considered a micro car, mm -hmm. right? Like, but actually the original one was already very, very safe. I remember seeing uh, the testing when it actually rolls off and like the convertible hits on the pillar here and it just yes. keeps rolling without any information. So you're saying it's even more, more strong. It's even safer. So um, Smart, as you were mentioning earlier, is an entity of Daimler, which is the parent company yeah. of Mercedes-Benz. So every Smart for two has to go through the same internal crash test standards that a Mercedes-Benz product goes through. Um, we crash them into S-classes, we drop them on their roofs, um, and have um, the track history too to prove the safety if you look at IIHS um, studies um, for not just small
small cars, but the previous generation for two was safe for cars, period. Uh, and we obviously have taken that to the next level. This car as well has um, eight airbags as standard. Eight? Eight. Wow. Um, so side, knee, um, two here, and then obviously uh, hip. Hip, yeah. yes. Um, so you're completely um, surrounded by, by safety in this car. Let's talk a little bit about how the driving of an electric car is different from a gas car. I think, I, from my perspective, I think there's a learning curve that the user has to get to, right? Because sometimes the reading what might tell you 80 miles, 60 miles, then sometimes it goes down a lot or really quickly and you like get starting to get nervous. Mm -hmm. What's what's your experience? What's the experience that you have heard from other customers already with the electric smarts? How, how quickly can you know, someone can adapt to like using this kind of technology? It's some people, it's just a, a matter of driving the car for a few miles. Um, it is a, a very different experience at first, but it's not one that's um, scary. People have a lot of fun with it. Obviously with um, internal combustion cars up to now, you're used to the vibration and you're used to um, acceleration having um, shift points. And, and with this, the way that you, um, the single speed steering transmission is, is designed and the instant torque of full electric. Yeah, like it in is, a very short is, time, for example. It's a simple surge yeah, of like power. Really. And it act, you get a sense of speed that you don't get in a gas car because this, because it is uninterrupted power. Um, and people that we've spoken to that have switched to the electric smart won't go back to, to the uh, gas Just the convenience of not stopping at the gas station ever. It's fantastic because yeah, if, if you have a charging solution at home or, yeah, or, or at even work. just at work, every day when you wake up or come out of work, it's it's essentially like someone has come along and, and given you a full <laughs> tank of gas. Yeah. Uh, so you get a lot of, of your of your time back by by having that. Another advantage of electric cars is like obviously there are less parts to maintain, right? Yes. I mean this. Yes. This pretty much is brakes and tires I guess and some other components but not essentially more. yeah you, there's no oil changes on this um, maintenance obviously we, we do have a program to have the car in every year uh, really for a routine check just to make sure that the components like the brakes and whatnot are okay and also um, you know we have the warranty behind the car um, that you know um, is eight years and really 60,000 miles so there's confidence behind the product so if anything does happen um, you know, we're, we're there to make sure that it's, it's right so SMART uh, has been working with these electric cars in different cities around the world, different programs to integrate them into sharing programs, but there are also other new thing, I believe, it's called iCities? Um, smart Cities. Smart Cities. Yes, yes, and Smart Cities um, is a program that has existed for a few years globally and is continuing to grow in the United States, and actually one of the reasons that we chose Miami uh, to have you drive the car was because we're are bringing the Smart Cities program here. Okay. But um, it's a series of um, owner benefits um, to purchasing one of these vehicles in, in the city um, when it comes to, uh, it, it depends in, in each program, but maybe having a- uh, Parking preferences. A parking or preferences or special programs hosted by um, your Smart Center um, to maybe even having access to a larger um, vehicle if you need to take a road trip um, oh, okay things things like that so um, it gets worked out individually for each city but it's a whole suite of owner benefits uh, that, that come with having the car because there are cities around the world I think London is one of them or the one that has the most aggressive programs that you you are not allowed or you have to pay a, a lot of money to drive a gasoline uh, yes. car into the city right yes um, yeah London is famous and they have their congestion charge which I believe is a tax on the carbon dioxide emissions of the vehicle um, and it's exciting for our European customers uh, because this obviously is an emission-free car. Um, and so even in places in the states that might have um, HOV lanes um, that require um, you to have emission-free driving, you should be able to get that um, based on your municipality with this car. So I understand there's no official or no, yeah, no um, official uh, pricing for the car, but obviously, like every electric car goes with federal incentives, right? It does have federal incentives and then also depending on your state or county um, will qualify for that as well. So we do advise you to see your um, tax professional for um, figuring out the final amount of incentives. Um, but um, pricing will come probably early 2017 and obviously um, the aim 
of the car is that uh, with the uh, decreased cost of battery production every year, uh, we want to pass that on. So um, I would look at the current uh, 2016 models um, pricing as kind of uh, a rough estimate of where we'll end up, if not better. So another advantage of the size being so small, it's only not, you can actually park. Where, where it's legal, you can park nose in in nose a parallel in spot. Parallel spot. But also, this car has an amazing uh, turning radius, right? Because, yes. I mean, I understand because of the engineering and having the engines in the back and all yes. that, you can really turn around in a small circle like really, really easy. That's right. Having the engine in the back allows us to have more room in the wheel wells to pull the wheels in. So the wheels will actually do a full 45 degree angle at full lock. Uh, and what that translates to is a 22.8 foot turning circle, uh, which is the best of any car on sale in the world. Yeah, like in this um, situation, uh, this, car, well, this guy was in front of me, wanted to turn, and he didn't have no space, but I am going half the block, half the length of the street, and just go in circles mm -hmm. if I want. I have actually <laughs> been... Uh, I don't want to make it this thing, <laughs> like I can do it. But I, I've actually been able to drive this car and turn it around on a two-lane street without having to do a three-point turn. Yeah. It's, it's incredibly maneuverable. Again, smart engineering. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for thank your you. time and the opportunity, and especially thank you for coming to Miami. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm glad to be I didn't here. have to travel to come to a <laughs> press event, so that was really good. We're, it's, it's, we're always happy to bring the cars down here. It's a great city. Thank you.